Hi, my name is Tara Allen, and today I just want to talk about drinks, in particular sugar. I also want to talk about um, aspartame, high fructose corn syrup, and serving size. So I just have a couple things here. I have a Coke and a Diet Coke, and you could you could put any kind of Coke here. And then I also have a natural lemonade, and I'll talk about that later. And then I have just the Nesquik that a lot of times people will use maybe um, for their kids or maybe themselves just to make maybe chocolate milk or to put on um, different desserts and things like that. So why talk about, why talk about sugar? Why talk about um, those things? These are things that are very common in a lot of people's diets. And some of the things that it can do um, is it can cause disease, it can cause inflammation, but it actually um, has taken a dear friend of mine's life uh, from a preventable death just due to um, nutrition and diet. And uh, it recently happened, um, somebody very young and his best friend of mine has passed away. And so this kind of sparked this Health 101 series. I just want to share the information and um, if it could prevent any kind of illness or pain or anything in anybody's life, that would be my um, intention. So why sugary drinks? One soda a day can pack on 15 pounds on the average person. Um, it has 10 teaspoons of sugar per Coke. And so the actual daily recommendation of sugar, and this is like sugars that you, you would find maybe in banana or fruit or kiwi or nectarines, that would be six teaspoons, or yeah, six teaspoons per day. So this already has too much that you would need to process per day. Another thing that it has in it, let's just look here. I know it has sugar, but it has high fructose corn syrup, which is an additive sugar. So this has total 65 grams of sugar, added sugars, another 65 grams. So it equals 130% of your daily, um, what your body can even process, and depending on your body. So this high fructose corn, corn syrup, what does it do to your body? It will inhibit the production of insulin, which would be able to process the sugar in your body. It also inhibits leptin, which is an appetite moderator. So when you eat, um, natural foods, so say I was going to eat these fruits here, my body would, um, would it's a complex carbohydrate, so it's not going to spike my blood um, sugar level, whereas this is a simple, and it will spike my blood sugar level. So my body um, we will react differently to the different things. So if I'm eating these regular fruits, I will have a production of leptin, I will have a production of insulin, and my body will a, be able to process those things. So I just wanted to go over that. Now, what does sugar do to your body? So say I drink this, this pop here, I've got 130%. First of all, my blood sugar level is going to spike instantly. Second, my body is going to become inflamed. And what inflammation does is it can cause headaches. It can cause cancer. Inflammation has been linked to cancer. It can cause arthritis, um, which is um, very painful. It can also just cause pain in the body. So you might be like, oh my gosh, I'm just like hurting everywhere. Oh, my back hurts, I'm having these pains. It could be caused to excess sugar in the body. Um, it's been linked to depression, obesity, heart disease, heart attacks. Um, yes, and it also has been linked to suppressing your immune system. So I know especially right now, everybody was talking about their immune system, getting their immunity up. One of the things to do is reduce sugar in the body. So taking out these things here. All right, so um, I know I have a Diet Coke here that does not have sugar. It has a different kind of sugar I'm gonna talk about, but um, let's go to this next quick. Number one ingredient, sugar. Um, there is the serving size, one tablespoon. Do you measure it out? Say you're gonna make some chocolate milk. Do you measure out the one tablespoon, that's one serving, and that's 50 calories and that's t about 24 grams of sugar, which um, is about 24% of your daily value. Um, yeah, that's really, I don't know. I don't know. I think people just keep pouring and pouring and pouring and maybe you don't take a, you know, a measure, but there's 31 servings here in this um, Nesquik. 
Now, let's get to this natural lemonade. Um, I pulled this out because my husband drinks this and I keep telling him to stop because there's too much sugar in it. But this has high fructose corn syrup as the number one ingredient, just like this pop here. So again, it's gonna inhibit these things. Your body's not even gonna be able to process it correctly as it should. Then it has sugar. So when you go and you look at your label and you look at sugar, it says 31 grams, well, right below it, and usually in a smaller font, it says another added 30 grams, 30 grams. So there's 61 grams. Um, so this is close to, it's getting close to 100% of your daily value. Now, this is the, the kicker in this one. This is two servings. So if I look over here at the serving size, um, so I can look at sugars that you do a quick glance and you're like, oh, you know, and a lot of times the serving size gets really tricky. Now this, this Coke, it says serving size one bottle. Now this lemonade is smaller. I need to double everything because it's two servings. So it's 121, 122% of sugar. And this one is being honest and it's 130%, um, which is way above what you need for the entire day. So this is a very hidden, um, it can be a killer. It can be something that can cause disease. It can be something that can cause just pain or headaches or different things like that. Okay, last thing, last thing. Diet Coke, aspartame, caramel color. Actually, these three items here have caramel color in them because they are brown. So caramel color, that's all, all it does is it dyes the food. Caramel color is a carcinogen. It has been linked to cause cancer and it also has been linked to hurt the brain. So those are things that you find in different um, coffees. Like if you go to Starbucks, they put the caramel in there. That actually has caramel color in it um, also. Um, this also has aspartame, which has been known to cause cancer and it actually has a warning here um, it actually is a 4-MEI or MEL. I don't can't read my writing, but it's a 4 MEI or L carcinogen. So you can look up, you know, what kind of carcinogen aspartame is. You can look up what kind of um, carcinogen caramel color is and just check that out. But the less um, toxins that you're actually putting into your body, the more your body is going to be able to process the other toxins that we can't avoid like maybe our environment or maybe our air or maybe our water and things like that so just eliminating the different toxins um, sugar can be toxic to the body especially when it's in these types of high amounts um, especially high fructose corn syrup and if you're suffering from any kind of pain any kind of corn can actually um, mimic gluten in the body so if you're suffering from any kind of pain that is something that you might want to eliminate um, so Sugary drinks. What does sugar do to the body? It can pack on pounds, it can hurt your body, um, it can cause cancer, it can lead to many types of diseases and pains and headaches. Um, it can re reduce any kind of natural um, production in the body to process food um, and appetite. It also um, can, can cause cancers and different things like that. And aspartame is actually known as a neural toxin. So it's a toxin of the brain. So as you know that, um, you know, it, it's just, you just decide if it's worth it to, to, to drink a neurotoxin to hurt your brain, or you decide if it's worth, you know, putting these extra sugars into the body that are gonna hurt, um, or, or giving these to children and things like that. And then also just making sure to look at the serving size and then the percentages and sometimes timesing those. Thank you so much for watching and be well.